A string of heat-seeking satellites could be about to become Earth's energy meter. Here's what you need to know. A group of heat-sensing satellites are about to be launched into Earth orbit using unique infrared cameras that can measure heat emissions from any building on the planet, according to The Guardian. The project, run by British space company Satellite VU, will act as the planet's energy meter by selling heat data to organizations looking to cut wasted energy and power bills, searching for badly insulated offices, homes, and factories in order to identify where most waste occurs and clarify if attempted improvements have been successful. More widely, the heat data could be used to help monitor river pollution from factories, and tech site TechCrunch suggests it can also help find warmer or cooler areas that suggest underground water, power lines, or other heat-affecting objects. Satellite VU's chief executive adds that while currently it is only possible to make broad surveys of heat being emitted into a neighborhood, Satellite VU satellites will be able to study individual buildings. The first of a total of seven satellites will be launched this week on a Falcon 9 rocket operated by Elon Musk's SpaceX, according to The Guardian. Of course, this is by no means the only ambitious satellite project going on in the world right now, with satellites seemingly representing a fresh area for creative new ventures. Satellite data from GRACE, Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, and GRACE follow-on satellites have been used to outline the dramatic changes in the Earth's ice, for instance. Or more unusually, in 2019, a Japanese company began testing the feasibility of using satellites to create artificial meteor showers by firing 1-centimeter metal pellets at high speed into the Earth's atmosphere. Clearly, the whole area is one full of intriguing, useful, and kind of weird possibilities. Though one upcoming issue with all such plans is that the space above Earth could begin to get crowded, as ongoing criticism of SpaceX's Starlink satellite network has highlighted. SpaceX is in the midst of launching a proposed 42,000 satellites as part of a Starlink, which is designed to provide low-cost internet to remote locations and, according to Space.com, the company had already launched more than 1,900 Starlink satellites by January 2022, with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission so far granting it permission to fly 12,000 Starlink satellites. Those are pretty massive numbers, given only around 12,500 satellites have been launched in history, according to the European Space Agency as of January. January 5th, and voices of concern are growing louder around what they could mean in the future. According to Space.com, spaceflight safety experts now view Starlink as the top source of collision danger in Earth's orbit, and some scientists even worry that the amount of metal that will be burning up in Earth's atmosphere as old satellites are deorbited could trigger unpredictable changes to the planet's climate. Even in the shorter term, arguments around the resulting crowding around Earth are already flying around all over the place, with The Guardian reporting in December last year that China complained to the UN about having to maneuver its space station twice to avoid it getting struck by some of SpaceX's Starlink satellites. A San Francisco startup named Planet plans to launch the largest fleet of satellites in history aboard a rocket from India. The 88 Dove imaging satellites will be deployed at an approximate altitude of 500 kilometers on a sun-synchronous orbit. That means they will pass over any given point on the Earth's surface at the same local solar time. Combined with 12 Dove satellites already in space, 100 satellites in total will fly north to south as the Earth rotates beneath them to form a line-scanner constellation of satellites. If the launch is successful, Planet expects to capture daily images of the entire Earth. The solar-powered Dove satellites weigh about 4 kilograms each and are equipped with a series of optics and sensors. These include a main camera that can capture images at 3 to 5 meter resolution. The shoebox-sized satellites will continually photograph the surface of the Earth and complete an orbit approximately every 90 minutes. Planet recently acquired Google's Terra Bella satellite business, including its seven high-resolution SkySat satellites. The SkySat satellites are about the size of a cubicle mini-refrigerator. They can capture 90-centimeter resolution images in color and near-infrared. Following up on his plans to transport 1 million people to Mars by 2050, Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, has now declared that it will also send hundreds of satellites to Mars to provide the colonists with space internet. SpaceX is currently building a Starlink mega constellation of small communication satellites around Earth and has already launched around 800 of these satellites into low Earth orbit. This mega constellation of satellites will eventually cover every part of Earth, and Elon Musk said it will give all people on Earth access to low-cost broadband internet. 
According to a recent interview with Time magazine, the company now plans to build the same mega constellation around Mars to provide the 1 million future citizens of Mars with space-based internet. Shotwell said the Starlink concept would also create a robust communication link between Mars and Earth, providing an interplanetary internet bridge. This ambitious satellite plan for Mars is typical of Elon Musk, who is spending big money on creating the rockets and spaceships required to get people to Mars. The South China Morning Post reports that Chinese scientists say they've created a space weapon that attaches itself to the inside of an enemy satellite's booster exhaust cone. The scientists published their weapon research in the Chinese journal Electronic Technology and Software Engineering in September. They say that the weapon is designed to fit snugly in the exhaust cones of the gas boosters that move satellites around. The device weighs only 3.5 kilograms and, once it has entered the exhaust cone, would use an electric motor to extend a thin probe that can pass through the narrowest part of the booster. Once inside the booster chamber, the probe would expand to keep the device firmly attached and hidden inside the exhaust cone. The device can then wait for a long time before it detonates a special melt-cast explosive that burns slowly, simulating an engine malfunction and severely damaging the satellite. The scientists say the probe's attachment sequence can also be reversed to release the weapon from the target. 40 of SpaceX's satellites crashed to Earth in flames after being hit by a solar flare. Here are the details. CNBC reports that up to 40 of SpaceX's Starlink satellites crashed to Earth after being hit by the effects of a solar flare. The event unfolded on Friday, February 4, after SpaceX launched 49 new Starlink satellites on one of its Falcon 9 rockets. The rocket released the cluster of satellites at a relatively low altitude. This move unfortunately backfired, as the Earth was at that moment being hit by a solar flare. The extra energy coming from the sun heated the atmosphere and caused it to become 50% more dense. This meant that the satellites became trapped in air that was too dense for their design. The denser air caused more atmospheric drag around the satellites, forcing SpaceX to turn them sideways to minimize atmospheric drag while waiting for the atmosphere to become less dense. But this did not happen fast enough, and when SpaceX instructed the satellites to maneuver to higher orbit, the additional drag overcame the low-power motors so they could not maneuver the satellites. This meant that the satellites couldn't rise higher to escape, so they crashed back to Earth. SpaceX said it launches its Starlink satellites at lower orbit so they will quickly deorbit if anything goes wrong. It says the satellites are designed to burn up in the atmosphere with no parts falling to Earth's surface. A Russian anti-satellite missile test blew up one of its own satellites on Monday, November 15th, according to the BBC resulting in 1,500 pieces of trackable orbital debris and causing astronauts on the International Space Station to shelter in capsules for safety. Political reports that Russia did not warn the U.S. about the test in advance, and subsequently, the seven-member crew of the ISS, which included three Russian cosmonauts, was instructed to shelter inside the Soyuz and Dragon crew capsules for two hours, according to NASA. The space station is now passing through or near the debris cloud from Cosmos 1408 every 90 minutes, though there is no need to shelter beyond the second and third passes. More broadly, the BBC says space debris is a rapidly worsening situation, with roughly a million to one to ten centimeter objects floating in uncontrolled orbit of Earth, and Time magazine pointing out that much of it is moving at over 17,000 miles per hour. Part of the explanation for this is that Russia is not the first country to shoot down a satellite in this way, with India, China, and the U.S. also having done so previously. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.